Chris Skaggs writes, like everyone else, I can't wait for B versus S, but when I see Henry Cavill off camera in his suits, I can't help but feel like I'm looking at the next James Bond. <laughs> what do you guys think? Could he take over after Craig? Thanks and keep up the great work. Well, what a lot of people forget is the director of Casino Royale is a guy by the name of Martin Campbell. And Martin Campbell picked this young 22-year-old actor at the time named Henry Cavill to be James Bond. He was the director's pick. The producers went over the director's head and said, no, we want somebody older to suit the, the role better. And we ended up getting what I feel is the best James Bond we've ever had in Daniel Craig. I, I, I love Daniel Craig as James Bond. But a lot of people forget that Cavill was right in line to play James Bond. So the concept of him becoming the next Bond is not all that far-fetched. Think of it this way too. Jump back a bunch of years when director Brian Singer was making Superman Returns. He had this kid in line to play Superman by the name of Henry Cavill. <laughs> and they ended up going with Brandon Routh, who I thought was a, a played a great Superman. Um, and then a little bit fast forward now a bunch of years and Henry Cavill plays Superman. Right. Could we see the same pattern repeat itself? Hey, look at it this way. If he really crushes it in this uh, new Man from U.N.C.L.E. movie... Mm -hmm. I, I think it's going to have everybody talking about it. I think people are going to be talking about Henry Cavill as the next James Bond the way they were talking about Pierce Brosnan being the next James Bond before it was announced he was the next James Bond. I think that could actually happen. So I would not be surprised by it, and I would actually welcome it. Mark, what do you think? He could be the British Chris Pratt is what you're saying. He where really we just could. consider him for all these major franchises. That's the question. Is The only thing holding him back would be the fact that he is Superman in the DC Cinematic Universe. So can you have him do that and be James Bond? Is that Are we being over? oversaturated with Cavill all of a sudden if that's the case. I think that they will go with a younger James Bond when Daniel Craig decidedly, uh, you know, he, he hangs up the suit for the last time. Maybe you see Idris Elba in a James Bond movie because the fans want it so bad, but I think that, that, that Henry's one of those guys that has a shot if they don't feel like the Superman logo looms too large over the martini. I think Henry, uh, like you said, he was up for being James Bond and he was up for being Superman. Like I've seen the, all the actual costume tests yeah. and everything. And he was actually, I think McGee had picked him when it was the J.J. Abrams. They're like, that's the guy. And mm. then Ralph saw that uh, when Singer saw the other footage, he was like, I want that guy because he's more like Reeves. So anyway, I don't think he'll be picked as James Bond because he did he did do the Remington steal. He was going to be Superman. They went with another guy. Then he got his chance. He nailed it, Man of Steel. And now he is Superman for the foreseeable next 10 years, if not 15 years. I mean, you got to think about like DC's in it for the long run. They've announced five years of programming, five years of movies where he as Superman is going to play a pretty strong part in Justice League and in a Man of Steel and maybe popping up in other films. You don't mm -hmm. know, but he's basically branded as Superman. Will he get rebranded as James Bond? I mean, I don't think so. I think, you know, he got he got the chance of a lifetime. You know, when you're up for both of those roles, you're going to either be James Bond or Superman. You don't get it. And then they come back <clears throat> and then he got to be Superman. So I think he already won, you know.